we're going to talk about another tool called a Nitco web scanner. Um, this is going to be on the test. Nitco is a web server vulnerability scanner. It's open source and it checks for 67,000 potentially dangerous files. Um, it checks for outdated versions of over 1,250 servers. It also checks for ser uh, server configuration items, such as the presence of multiple index files, server options, and will identify installed web servers and software. It can also scan items and plugins that are frequently updated and can be automatically updated itself. So a Nitco web scanner for the test, it's a web server vulnerability scanner. Um, in real life, it's pretty popular to use Nitco. Many companies will utilize it. Uh, it's a pretty good tool, even today. So we're going to discuss another security tool called the Bluetooth uh, Crack, BT Crack. So BT Crack, it's an older Bluetooth tool for when it first came out, but people still try to use it uh, today. But what happens is they try to hack the Bluetooth passphrase or PIN, um, and this is a brute forcer that actually does that. So they have word lists for Bluetooth cracking as well. Um, the link key allows remote connections without the victim noticing. The link key allows an attacker to connect devices in non-pairing mode and non-discoverable mode. The link key allows decryption of the data. So they can siphon off all of your phone records and all kinds of stuff. So you can have a huge theft from a tool like this. This is a nasty little tool. So it's a brute forcer that tries to guess your uh, passphrase for the pin. So one more thing I want to say about uh, BT crack. Um, if someone were to crack your um, key phrase, your passphrase, then they can connect to your phone without it being in discoverable mode and without it being in pairing mode. So that's what the link key allows an attacker to connect to devices in non-pairing and non-discoverable mode. I just want to make sure we made that clear. Another tool we're going to discuss that's on the test is Havage, or Havage, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, um, but it's a SQL injection tool. But the key about this one that you need to remember for the test is it's an automatic SQL injection tool. You don't have to know anything to use it. It automatically tries to determine a SQL injection and then extract the data from a database. We're going to discuss LAN attack mitigation. LAN attack mitigation. Know your architectures, your vectors of attack, and how to stop an attacker from the inside, an inside attacker. So a rogue inside attacker. So the ways you would do that, LAN attack mitigation for the test, how to stop an inside attacker. NAC, Network Admission Control, or Network Access Control, and 802. whatever port based authentication, and port security. And what you're talking about here is when you plug your computer into the wall and you jack into the network and it automatically serves you up a DHCP address and now you're online. And you have access, you may not be online to the internet, but you have access to the org. Any uh, IPs in there, you can conduct scanning and things of that nature. Well, if you have network-based access control, um, some of those things can be mitigated right off the bat. Um, it's pretty extensive to implement. Most small companies won't be able to afford it. Another tool we're going to discuss that's going to be on the test is NS Lookup. It's a tool used to perform DNS query lookups. So you can say NS Lookup a domain and you'll get information back about it. The name comes from name server lookup. So NS in the lookup is from name server. So it's name server lookup. You need to read the man page for this one. And <clears throat> to do that in Linux, you would type man space NS lookup. And then uh, when you do that, you'll get all the uh, possible switches and throws you can options you can throw at this tool. So uh, here's an example of how to use it. You will see this on the test. NS lookup set type equals name NS for name server and then domain name server.com, whatever the name of the domain server is, the URL. It'd be also, and it's also a good idea to do a lab for this one.